It all came from very good trickery in the, in the wider position, but quite a static defence was pretty fortunate to survive that little episode. It should have been much worse. Chambers. David Pizarro pumps it upfield. Perisic looks like a good ball through. Tadic. Decent clearance now. Can anyone get on the end of it? Perisic delivers. Musa Sissoko gets it back. And that's clear cut. It's a free kick. Oh, it's Adjuris. Adjuris! Lacking in accuracy. Well, in the circumstances, I think he did well to get some sort of attempt on goal because he was pretty much hurried and hassled out of that. Kirikesh. And it's Eremenko. Roman Eremenko drives forward with purpose. Perisic. And the cutback. Now it's Palacio. Well, the ball's come loose and the chase is on. Great reaction. Tadic looks to slip it through and through to the goalkeeper. Cuts it out. Yago Falco. And it's Koke. Now the pass. And that'll be the last act of the first half. So there was the first half. Arsenal ended that first half in such a strong fashion. I think we'll just have to wait and see now if they can rekindle that drive and that determination. It's been great commitment, and that has to be maintained in the second half. An intriguing half, lacking only in goals. A score, nil-nil. Arsenal clearly have been the better side for me. Yeah, I know the score doesn't quite reflect it, but if they go about their game in the, in the same manner as the opening 45 minutes, things really should improve. He's going to have to tune his rangefinder before the next one. Oh, glorious footwork. Decent ball. Good clearance now. Can they make something of it? Yeah, it wouldn't have been the most eye-catching goal we'd seen. Ultimately, the numbers prevented him from scrambling it in. He's made sure that that won't get through. Who's going to make this theirs? Ajuris. Usa Sissoko. Tries a through ball. Well played, he saw that coming. Whistle's gone, that's a foul. Good challenge, he just stood firm. And he put it away! He is off the hook. Much personal relief. Palacio. Falcao hits it! Falcao explosive! Look, there just wasn't much of a gap to begin with, and to find it, I think... It was a fine drive, and I don't think the keeper could have really planned for that. I think he's a bit unlucky in that instance.
Arsenal have a sub ready to come on. Dyer. Perisic has got himself a free kick. And that is about as cool as they come. He picked his spot expertly. Now that's what I call finishing, right in the corner. He knew instinctively who was where and didn't need to waste any time weighing things up. That's a cracking goal. Well, it's an inspired substitution. Terrific move by the boss. Well, the instruction from the manager would have been go on and make yourself a nuisance and see if you can snatch a goal. Mission accomplished. Arsenal take a two-goal lead and things should be comfortable from here on in. Well, that second goal has given them so much more command and confidence now and they should be able to take it on from here and either add to their lead or, or close it out. Surely they'll manage one or the other. Brian Ruiz. Arsenal still contemplating when to use their last remaining substitute. Hulk. Schoener. Tadic. Lovely close control. Passes it through. Shoots! And he's there to hoof it away. Great ball to play him in, but he will be gutted to miss that. Oh, he can't be happy missing that after the put clean through. That's about as good a chance as you can get. Joaquin gets it back. Marseille have anticipated uh, an aerial bombardment. Just looks like mass defence. Yeah, it's a case of needs must at certain times, Peter, and, and they have to respond to what's being asked of them. Falcao with the ball through. Oh, it's opened up nicely for him. Defence can get it clear. David Pizarro. Forward it goes. And that'll go straight through to the keeper. All the way back and they start again. Keeper's got good distance on that. Oh, well intercepted, really alert to the danger. OK, a chance! Oh, should have put that away. Oh, it was a real opportunity to get right back into this game, but they've got to forget it now, move on, it's gone.
Arsenal make their final change. Well, his stamina was called into question then, but there's absolutely nothing wrong with his heart and, and the efforts he put in. He was very willing, though, not quite able. Very well to intervene. Played out to the right. Yago Falke demanding a quick ball here. On Neltovic. And it's Chambers. Koke battles to win it back. Good challenge. He just stood firm. Steered out wide. Just couldn't turn it in. Arsenal didn't really deal with the wide play. It was a, a lovely dribble down the flank, but really they've got to double up to try and stop that. And I think with the attempted goal too, they were a little fortunate. Eremenko. Perisic. It's a good run down the left-hand side. Chambers. Ford shows there will be three extra minutes. And Danovic gets it upfield. Okay. Into stoppage time. They must make something of this. Crunching tackle. Referee looks at his watch and blows his whistle. Solid, if not especially fancy, always in control. They did enough to win it. How do you look back on the game then, Jim? Well, we know clean sheets are always an important ingredient in any recipe, and while delighted with the win, they'll also be very pleased to have managed a shutout. So that's it for today. Thank you, Jim, and good afternoon all. Thank you.